y equals brackets x plus 5 times bracket x minus 4 all over 2x plus 3. Let's expand the top, so we get x squared, don't we, first term. And then it's plus 5x minus 4x, which is plus an x. And then 5 times 4 plus times minus is a minus, 5 4 is 20, over the 2x plus 3. Now we need to divide this, rather than use long division, I'm just going to just adjust it as we go. So here I need a half x times x, that will give us our x squared, uh, 2x that is, that will give us the x squared, plus 3. Now it will also give a 3x over 2, and we've got a 1x. So we need, um, we've got a 3x over 2, we've got 1x, so we need to take away half x, minus 20, all over 2x plus 3. Let's just quickly check that. That will give us our x squared. This will give 3x over 2 minus a half x, which will give x, and then we've got our minus 20. This is equal to then, um, a half x of the 2x plus 3, uh, minus, now I'm going to put a quarter here, because I need to put um, a 2 in the bracket, a quarter, 2x, and that will still give rise to the minus half x, plus 3, and then I've got minus 3 quarters here. I've got a minus 20, so I need to add to that 3 quarters to make the minus 3 quarters disappear. All of that is over 2x plus 3. So this is equal to then. Now we can split the fraction up nice and easily. The first part is this over the denominator, so we just get half x. The second part is just this over the denominator, so we get the minus quarter come out. And then the last part, 20 as quarters is minus 80 quarters, plus 3 quarters is minus 77 over 4, and we've still got a 2x plus 3 here, haven't we? So this is what we're dealing with here. So now we can see what the asymptotes are. First of all, we've got this straight line, gradient half, intercept minus a quarter. So let's draw a line then. It should be, I'm scaling it so that I can draw it easily, but it's a fairly shallow line really of gradient a half. And then the intercept is minus a quarter here. Okay, so when we go for large x, this value gets very small. And because that's a minus, large x will make this a very small negative number, just underneath this line then. That's where it tends to. When x gets large negative, this denominator becomes large negative. Combine that minus with it, and the fraction, we get a very small positive fraction. So it's just a above this value of the line. So it's going to tend towards the line, but just above it. Now we look at the other asymptote, which is when x is minus 3 over 2. So let's put that in. Let's draw our asymptote here then. And then we can should be able to see what's happening here. We think it will shoot up here on this side because of where the asymptote is there. And we think the asymptote will shoot down there because of where the asymptote is on this side. Let's just confirm that then. Slightly bigger than minus 3 over 2. We'll make this number underneath slightly bigger than three over minus 3 over 2. This will be positive small. Um, will it? No, slightly bigger. Right, we'll make it positive small, and then combine it with the minus, it'll be a negative large. So slightly bigger than 3 over 2, we've got a large negative. Slightly smaller than minus 3 over 2, this is negative, making this whole fraction positive large. Uh, so it shoots up there. So yeah, we, we were okay, so now we'll just sketch it. It shoots down from here and goes to this asymptote, and it comes down from here, and it goes towards that. Oh, that's not very well drawn. It shoots down from here and goes to this asymptote here. And there's the curve. Here and here, two lines. Okay, so let's have a look at the plotter then. Let's quickly put it in. So we've got x plus 5. I'll just write it in. I know it's small font, uh, but I'll just type it in here. x minus 4 divided by bracket uh, 2x plus 3. There we go, we're doing from minus 10 to 10. And we should all be able to see the sketch now. x plus 5 times x minus 4 over 2x plus 3. 
And there's the sketch, as we suspected, yeah? And here's the um, vertical asymptote at minus 3 over 2. And then we've got this line here uh, giving the other asymptote.